Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Stephen. Today, I want to talk about social AI in harmony, maybe even AGI. When? 2024, 25? I really believe it's this decade. But what about it? Um, not only AGI for every digital functions, physical services, what will come first? What does it mean for you? What can we build today? Even in this decade, many of the interaction between humans will be changed. But most interesting of all, it will be about the humans and the bots that you cannot distinguish anymore. It will be among us, it will be the small social groups. So the more interesting question to ask is, when it comes how would the relationship between the humans and most of all, now that the boss is indistinguishable from humans, what kind of crypto blockchain as infrastructure that we can build today will still be relevant? I call that the social AGI. I call that the web infinity because we're building web three. My last two companies is in web two. I grew up in web one. It wouldn't mean anything anymore that it will be a AI-driven, human will be a big part of it. That's how we interact with each other. We know that human population would converge to be about 10 billion people. Again, we don't need to worry about whether they're bots or humans that we're interacting with. It's most of all that you don't care about this is for entertainment or productivity. You care more about when it comes, what does it mean for me? Everyone talk about how the generative models are different now, how there's so much data that the companies is capturing the opportunity now. Crypto feel like a new identity crisis that they feel like need to be part of it. All the architecture and technical and the reasons are correct. I just don't know what to get out of it for myself. That I'll be so excited to still build it, to be part of it, to live for a few more years to see it. I so search a lot to ask this question, even as a builder. My background is uh, computer science in PhD and build two maps infrastructure company to ask this question, would there be our place as a builder, if not for decentralized as a crypto project, to be even in this era of web infinity when AGI really come? I answer in two ways that at least I want to ask that questions. It may not have a right answer at all, but that will be the question I ask in 2029. What kind of new experience will I get out of the AI? Is it the same thing of just more products to buy and more profiles to look at? I, I don't want that. Would that be a radical experience that in my life I will be able to recall and actually imagine and now I can experience it? Would my bonding to my family and close friends be completely disrupted? Or I need to really be in real life now, after the COVID, to think about that's the only experience and bonding that matters. It will be quite a ambient of computing and now AI that will be part of our social life. And if the bonding is just I'm addicted to my screen, that I am just in the games all day, again, I don't want to be in it. I want the bonding to be so fulfilling I want the bonding to be still social. I really don't care whether that is human or bot pretending, or most of all, a humans delegating to some bots representing that human for some interaction. That will be my vision for 2029, but what can we build today? Do we need another social network? Would that be another social media that keep sending me advertisement that I couldn't even pay to get rid of? Or would that be a decentralized social that I actually don't want one more product? So what should I even build today to start? I think we should build the primitives, as always. Figure out the math, figure out the AI infrastructure, figure out the model that will be so powerful that now all the builders, hopefully in this room, can say, I want this, I want that. But what is any more of the protocol, even among humans? 
and some of it can be extended to bots, can, can be extended to superintelligence that we are so sure that we still need today. Everyone can imagine a better Twitter, a, a Facebook, but you cannot build that anymore. It does not make sense for you to imagine a better Google and you get funding, you get user for it. The world of technology and company value capturing doesn't work this way. So we must start from the very beginning to know what are the primitives for social protocol among the humans that we still need today. I articulate to be at least two things that we are, we just built a prototype to demo, is something called your hash powers and your status and your links to be slash. So again, they play on the words and all the technology we have built in crypto already. I've been a crypto founder for six years already. These are some of the things that if you read very early of the white, uh, become white paper, you'll be like, ha, ha, ha. Right? But would that make sense? Not just as a consensus protocol among distributed machines, it actually can be the human protocols, even among the bots. I think the powers of status of your how many emoji reactions you got? How many of being the mayors, being the election result of DAO's voting, of the government proposal, wouldn't that feel like the powers that you don't care about what that is, you just hash it up and you keep increasing the number? I think so. But one of the primitives of it is uh, many of them are just the same. If you put out your social on your LinkedIn, someone endorsing your skill, someone endorsing where you go to university. If we actually allow the social part now fully endorsing the boss to be just a human, creating a profile for you, maybe you don't mind dating that bot. Maybe you don't mind ha having a marketplace that allow you to select the AI bot experience as long as you know what kind of power, what kind of hashing of all the ability that you can get out of it. Similarly, I actually think the links to everything that we project ourselves, that may not be counted um, two words of a number, but that just represent you as a profile, as a wallet, at the domains you own, the names that you have, will be the reputation, and in some way it's the stakes that people are like, this is me, this is my reputation in real life, or with the real name, and, but there is also an anonymous part of me, pseudo-anonymous part of me, that will keep them separate. And if you are not behaving here, I'll be slashing your status here. That sounds cute. That sounds like allowing us to be rebuilding the social media and network without thinking about who should own it, but in a decentralized way of curating a protocol, even with the bots. So we use a different color too to say that, oh, I'm verified now. I actually all off it to be green, and then it will be blue if I say it myself. That's my self projected like powers as well as links, and yellow. So that instead of you saying that you have so much money and you went to which school, maybe someone will say it for you, even though now most of the social profiles, people are shy and don't want to disclose anything. Let's make doxing someone to be part of the primitive. There will be so much. AI to come, but I really believe two vertical that I want to capture the value. I really think that there are so many bots and general AI will be possible this decade, but it's much more interesting as a builder to ask what will be the AI of a vertical that will arrive this year, 2024. If you know last year, it happened with the ChatGV with the text and question and answering and chatbot, and then very soon it was image and earlier just this year, almost video, right? It's much, much more important to know what can be built, what is actually possible in the next three months. Next three, three years is okay if you're founding a company that you want to ask for, fundraise and build a team of 10. By the time you don't tell me something specific that I can prove you wrong, that there's a better opportunity in the next three months, then you're just telling me a very generic, general idea that for sure you'll be true, I just cannot bet against you. I cannot prove you wrong. And today I want you to prove me wrong, that I'm betting voice AGI will arrive this year. I work on speech recognition, 
speech sentences, voice AI for some time, that it is beyond my dream that I finally arrived this year. That just like chatbot, just like image generation, that early on you'll be like, ha, 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 I won't use it. And then until that you cannot distinguish the quality of it from a superhuman way of translation, human way of interacting and how natural it sounds. I think you may have seen some demo, but this year you will see all of it that no one will ever talk about the innovation anymore, but to use it in the product, making a company to bring the revenue. And that's how I hope to see about AI in crypto too. Don't tell me about ideas and the white paper anymore. Tell me a product I will use and pay for it today. So we'll build something like this that will be on your iPhone and you know that you don't want another device. You don't need another Alexa sitting at home. You're just everywhere. And you don't even need a screen. You don't need even UX anymore. We built it the last two quarters, so we still have some basic UX. But I believe, as you may know, one of the movies called Her, back in 2013, is everyone talk about, right? The ambient way, how AI will be in our life, that we might carry a device, but it won't be in your face anymore. By the time I reach 100 millisecond latency on your device, everyone will know that it has arrived, that now become a business, now become our daily life of using it. What else are than voice? The two big companies that I work with on the project for infrastructure is Google and Apple Maps. So it will be really, really dear to my heart that somewhere that maps, location, venues, recommendations for restaurant will become the AI that we can own. Isn't it crazy? Two of the two trillion companies that I work for still own the only two maps that can ever be the last 10 years and can ever be the next 10 years from all I know. Because I've been following the industry for so long. I built a startup that really was promising but no one can break out into the map space except the two dominant players that in crypto, in AI, there must be a new way to think about this data, the interaction that we have in real location, that day to day. Most of all, the voice and the maps data that every day you have is the best data you start owning it today. Most of the startup and AI founders keep saying, let me crawl this data, get all the a partnership, just like OpenAI to get Reddit and Twitter before we build a product. It doesn't work this way anymore. It really requires almost a $100 million capital to even acquire, to scale it to 10 million users level, that really the, our best chance, especially in crypto and the Web3 space, is create and own your data starting today. Imagine everything you say now with a voice memo, meeting notes are now owned by you on chain. We think there's a way to think about this as a live memos that maybe you will relive some of the moments. For someone that liked the movie Eternal Sunshine, it's almost like a simulation in the universe. Now today, you can think about how you may actually recreate that moment, relive it for yourself or the kids, that it is like if the final odyssey of the science fiction is true, how can I decide on how to experience those moments again. And if we manage to do that, there'll be so many more good way to think about now day to day, we don't actually need to know the 10 billion users, 10 billion humans, 10 billion bots to be happy. Finding your perfect match in real life, having a great conversation and remembering it over time, we are only good meeting about 500 people anytime, any moment in your life to be recalling them, to have something to do with them. So finding a perfect match, whether professionally or romantically, I think is really where some of the blotching, so you don't want Google to own your dating profile, let alone LinkedIn, to know, most people don't disclose there anymore. So who can it be? A Little bit about the project I've been running for six years, it's called Harmony. We've been building different sharding to think about the consensus protocol. And now finally, many of the shards become useful for data availability just as much. 
But what are we using the data for? What are we using even the consensus for these days? Oh, for sure, DeFi, NFT, DAO, we have done it all in the last six years, haven't we? The utilization of most of the networks, most of the data, most of the chart is still lower than 10%, maybe even 1%. Why can't we start owning some of the AI data today so that you know the next 10 years this will be the valuable data? Not as a white paper, not as you wish Reddit would give the data to you, but you only yourself with the people that you care. We also own a top-level internet domain called Dark Country. Uh, for two years, to think that that's how DAO people think of themselves, digital nations. We also think that that's how you want to share your maybe romantic data, professional data, social data, for sure, to the AI, maybe a few people. That's what I call the small social group. That you will have a domain so that you can still link to the internet, but most of all, these are the data based on a very general foundation model, based on what big company can give you, that the data and the group interaction will be fully owned by you. This is it. I've been to Burning Man a few times, and I really, really recall that player experience, what I call now the radical experience. If you know this um, art, you will know it's called broken, but together. It's really touching, it really helped me reflect many of the journey, especially in crypto. But even within my family, with my relationship with friends, that is broken, but together. You wish it to be different, you wish it to be better, you wish it to be whole, you want it to be perfect. In some way, maybe bots will be like that. They are manas, we cannot distinguish them. Maybe they're broken in many ways. Humans are definitely not perfect, but broken, but together. So in many ways, we are pushing humanity to becoming deists, right? Not just to be a multi-planet species. If we are really having the godlike power and want the godlike experience, again, what kind of primitives, what kind of infrastructure, what kind of platform? which you built today. I have a full write-up there on the harmony.one slash AGI. That's my telegram. We'd love to get more feedback and build it together. Thank you, everyone.